got something for you. In my nice real me purse. Show up. Come on. So in here we have the real me 8i, the cheapest 120 hertz refresh rate smartphone on the market. And here's the unboxing and quick look at it. Um, I personally wouldn't wear one of these, but this is a seems to be a real me purse or bag. Yeah. So guys, the most affordable 120 hertz display smartphone, the Realme 8i, was launched in India earlier this year. Now makes its debut in Europe, powered by the MediaTek G96. It has a 5,000 milliamp battery. So it looks like we get a silicon case here. Sim tray ejector tool and manuals, standard. The phone. And there we go. So we have 18 watt fast charging as well. So all this guys, 199 euros. So it's a two pin plug uh, for Europe. If you're in the UK, then obviously you're gonna need an adapter. And we have a type C cable. A quick run through on the specs there, 50 megapixel AI triple camera. We have an ultra fast side fingerprint sensor, 5,000 milliamp battery, like I said, Helo G96, which is making its debut in Europe. 120 hertz ultra smooth display and 18 watt fast charging. This one I have is six gigs of RAM and one to eight gigabytes of internal storage, stellar purple. So let's take a closer look at this budget smartphone from Realme. Wow, look how stunning that is. There we go. Okay, so it's a plastic back. It's an affordable device, 199 euros, but still a plastic back. It looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? So look at this camera array as well. That looks good. A rectangle base there for the, the four lenses. Although well, I think one of them is actually a flashlight, sorry. So you've got a triple camera set up with a flashlight there. We have plastic frames, volume rocker up and down. We have a SIM tray. On the top is clear. On the side, we have the power button and an integrated fingerprint sensor. That feels nice. I love integrated fingerprint sensors. At the bottom, type C, um, looks like I have speaker, microphone, and a 3.5 mil socket for earphones and headphones. Earphones, earphones. So this weighs 196 grams. Yeah, it feels all right, not bad. Nice curved back, just feel quite comfortable to hold. Hold, Android, Android 11 as well. Let's power it on. Obviously the main selling point, as I've said, is a 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, it is an LCD panel, it's not AMOLED or OLED. Um, it is an LCD panel, 1080p, but still 120 hertz refresh rate, only 199 euros. Okay, cool. So that's the chin and the bezels that, you, that we're gonna play with. There's the front facing camera there as well. That's 16 megapixel there on the front. Um, we can shoot at 1080p 30 frames per second on that as well. So let me go and set this up and I'll be back in a sec. So here she is guys, the Realme 8i. 120 hertz refresh rate. I've enabled that in the, in the settings. There is that under display and brightness. If you go to more, there we go refresh rate and you can have it on auto select as well or standard 60 but being a tech head you want it full max 120 hertz and hopefully the 5000 milliamp battery in this will keep it going for longer fingers crossed anyway software update there might be a software update i'm not sure but it's got android uh, android 11 and there is an update 3.2 gigs but that's the software you can expect. So the fingerprint sensor is side loaded into the power button. Okay, that's where I love it. I love it like that. It's a nice placement as well, actually. Maybe a tiny little bit higher to be absolutely perfect, but it's just slightly on the low side there. But 
it's still fine. Perfect, really good. So in terms of apps and what you get with it, um, it's pretty much a stock Android experience, although you've got these little folders and that is obviously not uh, English. So just remove that and if I can remove this, No. Okay, I can't remove that. But yeah, we have that page and we have this as well. So the R, it's that's the real me community. Um, yeah, but not a complete stock Android experience. I haven't installed no, no apps at all. So Facebook, WhatsApp and TikTok is already on there. Okay, so I've been using it for half an hour and you can you can see the, the, the finger marks on there, fingerprints or whatever, which you do come to expect with plastic backs. But, quick buff, and it's brand new again. So yeah, three cameras, you have the depth sensor, a macro sensor, and the main 50 megapixel sensor. Shoot up to 1080p 60 on, in video as well. But it's not gonna be the most amazing and best camera setup on the Realme 8i. It's a budget device. Like I said, the main thing is 120 hertz of smooth display. So I went out earlier and captured a few pictures and videos on the Realme 8i. Turn the EP30 indoors, walk into here. My plan. So outdoors. Now this is 1080p 60, indoors, walk into outdoors, and a bit more. Wow, what a gorgeous day. So this is 1080p 30 now on the front video, front facing video. That's the maximum you can shoot on this. The maximum on the rear is 1080p at 60. So not much light here. It's not doing a bad job actually. Just remember how affordable this phone is as well though. It's not gonna be the most amazing camera quality, but it should be usable in most cases. So I was quite happy with overall image quality on the main 50 mega, megapixel sensor. Uh, dynamic range looked good. It did look quite oversaturated. Some people may prefer that. I didn't mind it too much, but I think the quality in that respect isn't too bad. And video is decent quality as well, especially when I've got outside. A uh, beautiful environment for, for these sort of smartphones who do suffer in low light. So this is a YouTube video, it's max brightness as well at the moment. So uh, let's have a look. This is a 60, 4K 60 FPS HDR video. Uh, we don't get HDR support though on, on this display, but we're gonna go, go up to 1080p, which is a 1080p display. Uh, we're gonna pinch zoom, and that is now full screen, full brightness on the Realme 8i. Now it's a 6.6 .6 inch display with a 90.8% screen to body ratio. And I think that looks pretty cool. So the Rumi 8i only has one loudspeaker there at the bottom. It's not stereo. So anyone who's after stereo speakers, it might not be for you, but let's have a listen. Full blast. That's loud. You can isolate it pretty well as well. So definitely loud 
it's a loud loudspeaker uh, overall quality was okay a little bit muddy in in the lows but definitely usable so this is the realme 8i guys an affordable budget smartphone with a whopping 120 hertz refresh rate if you're looking for a refresh rate phone uh, of that magnitude 120 hertz but you can't quite afford the the big hitting smartphones then realme have done you a favor here and they've crammed it into this little beauty here now it's powered by the helio g96 which i will be testing i'll be testing some games and stuff like that over the next week or so so do watch out for that and hopefully in a week or two we'll have the full review on the realme 8i so thank you all very much for watching pop any questions you have in the comment section down below and i'll see you soon bye bye